Europe has long been captivated by Asian art. For centuries, antique porcelains, fine tapestry and paintings by renowned Chinese artists have piqued the interests of connoisseurs and fetched a good price. Europe's interest in collections from China came from the great voyages, with Marco Polo, for example. Till the 1920s, 1930s, we were still very attracted and bought a lot of Chinese art. After World War II, there were still up to at least 80 Asian and especially Chinese art dealers here in Paris. And the market for Chinese art and antiques is growing again since the end of the pandemic to around $7.4 billion in global sales. The craze for Chinese art will not disappear. What will disappear in France is the objects. Every year, art objects leave France, bought by Chinese people. In a few years, there won't be much Chinese art left in France. The remaining objects will mainly be in museums. French families will certainly sell theirs. The market will shift. It will be a Chinese to Chinese market rather than anything else. The future for Chinese art is infinite. For some museum goers, Chinese art is the main attraction. Asia is a distant continent, a place that makes you dream a little with its culture. It's very refined, very elegant, as we can see in the paintings, in calligraphy, and in a lot of art in general from Asia, and especially from China. To celebrate the centuries-old relationship between China and France, the iconic Palace of Versailles will host an elaborate exhibition from April next year. Chinese art is expected to feature heavily at that event. Natalie Malchas, CGTN, Paris.